Yo what's good YouTube this is Vigil we are back with another video so in today's video I'll be giving you guys my top 10 class setups which you guys need before the global launch which is coming on 21st of March so we have a week left for that so I'll be giving you the 10 guns which you can max and use the loadouts for and these are the meta guns which will give you a head start on the release of uh, global launch so without further ado if you're new to the channel make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel and without any further ado let's hop into the video so starting off with the loadouts the first gun which we have in the list is Bruin MK9 which is one of the best LMGs in the game right now it's the meta so for the loadout we have barrel 23 XRK Horizon V2 for the muzzle we have Cassis Break for the optic you can use any optic you want I use Corio because it has like a beam type of uh, iron sight and it's easy to control it's a 2.5x scope and for the magazine we have 60 round mag for the under barrel we have Bruin heavy support and you can use this loadout for the mid range to long range fights and this is quite good with a SMG or a shotgun as a main AR for the game next up we have Ram 9 which is the meta SMG in the game right now it is the first SMG on the SMG tier list you can say so for the barrel we have speedy way V5 short barrel for the muzzle we have zenith uh, compensator for the magazine we have 15 round mag, for the under barrel we have DR6 handstorm and for the com we have recon com. You can use this with any of the ARs or the LMGs as a AR support or sniper support as well and this is one of the fastest time to kill SMG in the game right now. Next up we have MTZ762. This is a battle rifle but it can be used as an AR and it is one of the fastest damage gun in the game right now with slow fire rate but high damage so for the loadout we have MTZ precision blackthorn barrel for the muzzle we have VT7 spitfire suppressor for the optic you can use any optic of your choice I use Corio. so for the uh, magazine 30 round mag for the stock uh, EXF close quarters stock and you can pair it up with any of the SMGs and shotguns of your choice Talking about SMGs, the next SMG in the list is HRM9 and it is meta from quite a long time now and it's still a meta. So for the barrel we have Thon 90 barrel. You can also use Prices long barrel for the extra range. And for the muzzle we have Zenith 35 compensator. For the magazine we have 50 round mag. For the under barrel we have DR6 sandstorm. For the stock we have folding stock. So you can use any barrel of your choice. Rest the loadout is same and the other barrel increases the range but uh, this barrel gives you more mobility and it's good for close range you can pair it up with any of the LMGs or the ARs and it's good to go next up we have a uh, TAC Evolver which is one of the broken meta guns in the game right now but it got a nerf and the fire rate is less now but still it beams and can be used in long range and mid range for the loadout we have barrel uh, Rittler's long barrel for the muzzle we have VT Spitfire for the stock we have Rampart Heavy Stock For the Rare Grip we have XRK Responsive For the Laser we have FFS Ole Laser If you want to use a Optic you can remove the uh, Rare Grip and it's good to go You can pair it up with any of the SMGs or a Shotgun Next gun in the list is a Sniper And this is one of the only Snipers which is good at long ranges And has very less bullet drop And it uh, has a potential of 1 shot on head and 2 shot on body so this is the loadout for sniper cat AMR and for the loadout we have Zhang barrel for the muzzle we have sonic suppressor for the stock we have tactical stock pad for the rare grip we have phantom rare grip for the ammunition we have uh, spire point rounds but you can also use high velocity if you want but uh, I was giving it a try to spire uh, point rounds and this is better than high velocity so you can use this and when we get the laser category unlocked for this you can swap it up with the laser as well after snipers the sniper support for the sniper can be AMR9 this is one of the best SMGs in the game right now with the sniper support as it has a 100 round mag with the muzzled sonic suppressor with the under barrel Bruin heavy support optic of your choice I use MK.3 reflector for close range and for the stock we have Sarap uh, 14 heavy carbine so this is one of the loadouts you can pair up with a sniper as a sniper support so yeah next up we have a shotgun so this is a fire shotgun build for Lockwood 680 
which is a new build for this gun and it's one of the shotguns which can one shot or two shot and can be used in Rebirth Island and in Verdanks as well. So for the loadout we have Lockwood Defender Heavy Barrel. For the laser we have Hipshot L20. For the ammunition we have Dragon Breath 12 gauge. For the bolt we have Express Light Bolt. And for the stock we have Sword of Mod. Uh, you can pair it up with any of the LMG or the AR. And if you are playing a Rebirth Island match you can pair it up with the SMG as well. So you can like two shot people with the shotguns and run it up with SMGs. Next the only AR which made into the list is Holger 556 and for the loadout we have a Crisis 6 match barrel. For the muzzle we have Spitfire suppressor. For the optic you can use any optic of your choice. And for the magazine 40 round mag and for the stock RB adult assault stock. So this is only AR which made into the list as the other assault rifles are not that good enough. You can try Ram 7 but it's an old meta now and this is one of the better ARs in the game right now. And you can pair it up with any of the SMGs. Talking about SMGs, the last gun in the list is Boss 9. And this is one of the strong mobility weapons in the game. You can run it on Rebirth Island as well as Verdanks as a uh, AR support or a LMG support. So for the loadout we have WSP Reckless 90 long barrel. For the muzzle we have Zenith 35 compensator. For the magazine we have 50 round mag. Optic of your choice. You can also use a laser if you don't want an optic. For the stock we have factory stock and this is uh, it for the loadout video. So if you want more such videos you can subscribe to this channel. I have a lot of stuff planned for the global launch and we do stream daily around 10 pm and on global launch we will be doing a marathon stream as well. So you can tune it up, you can subscribe to the channel and if you like this video do let me know in the comment sections that how are the loadouts and if you want new such loadouts or you have some recommendations you can uh, type it up in the comment section and, and this was it for today's video so make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one, peace.